is the fact that technically it's day to day with a mild strain right now. You want some more good news? Yes, sir. He fits the Pistons like a glove, or they fit him like a glove. Thunder player makes a slam dunk in the third quarter. You could be our lucky winner. Enter via the Thunder mobile app through the end of halftime for your chance at that gift card. Maladon called it out that it was going to be short. Right? I'll, I'll plant myself right here in front of the rim. Get a head start on the positioning. <laughs> and Cunningham's second shot. That we got five guys on the floor that can all push the ball. Boy, that is tough for it. A team defensively. There's the cross court pass over to Krejci. Back out to the perimeter, Maladon off the extra pass, and he will can the three. Jalen Horde also from France. As Maladon trying to make his move, but he got stripped by Hayes. As Maladon trying to make his move, but he got stripped by Hayes. Pistons trying to get that two on one. Hayes will take it himself. Held the ball out there, but missed the layup attempt. He got a lot of praise coming out of Oklahoma State. And he's going to be defended tonight by Aaron Wiggins. Says that's going to be a Roby slam. Not going to miss that one. And, you know, the Thunder have done a good job of passing each other open. That time, leaving Maladon open. That time, forgot about him. Keep the ball moving, and I don't care what Frank Jackson is shooting percentage-wise. If he's standing open at the three-point line, some former players they can enjoy this one from the luxury box. I like hearing Michael the the stories about the very early years and what it was like. That's what I, I think is the most important thing to me that I get out of that as a former player because we just don't have those kind of connections as. Maladon off the dribble and Tail Maladon maneuvering his way right to the cut. And put that in perspective. Thunder only had just six points in the paint. See the quick closeout on Waters. That's going to leave Maladon wide open. He was the inbounder and Tail Maladon takes advantage with that corner three. Well, Detroit's second unit getting a lot of run here. In the second quarter, Waters once again got a little fly by and drills it from the side. Waters starting to heat up back to back possessions. Thunder really climbing back into this one. Shot clock is off. Maladon gives it a look. That's going to be an offensive foul as he went right into the body of Key. Thunder really climbing back into this one. Shot clock is off. Maladon gives it a look. That's going to be an offensive foul as he went right into the body of Key. Wants to give it up to Hayes. Hayes. Was not really moving with a lot of alacrity once he caught it. Along with John Radigan. And she gave me three names that were possible rookies of the year. Just came out of nowhere. Knocking down the three, showing you his ball handling skills. Uh, really, at times, almost unguardable. And that amounts to what? Four? Correct. Four. I'm wrong. It's one four as Maladon works it underneath. Uh, I'm not coming downstairs, and they all called my room. They said, hey, come downstairs. It was Marcus. I came downstairs. The whole team was laughing. laughing. It was not a pretty scene for me. Now, I was thinking about that story. It would have been bad if somehow you had agreed to start investing money with who was on the other end. Then he would have been getting in and write checks to Marcus. Yeah, I probably would have shortened my career. Now, I was thinking about that story. It would have been bad if somehow you had agreed to start investing money with who was on the other end. Then he would have been getting in and writing checks to Marcus. Yeah, I probably would have shortened my career. You know what's interesting? He's usually pulling the prank on everybody else. He's got this move that he's been utilizing where he secretly camps out in the corner. You think what about is that? the titles that Detroit has won, Michael, in the early 90s, as you alluded to with the, the bad boys and then that sort of surprise title in 2004, taking down the Lakers with Chandler. That's a nice little cornerstone to start building your franchise back up to where it used to be when you get the number one overall pick. Yes. Be crazy. Had to miss all of last season with that knee injury. Better get a good look at him here. Second half of the season, that's going to be free throws coming up for Sam and Lee. And then uh, all of a sudden you realize there's, what, six games left. Oh, How about that? That's, that's something you, 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 you just enjoy watching. Well, he's not been, looking like it tonight. Yeah, he's been gold in. 
Krejci got caught in the air. And you see Maladon reaching out there for the take foul. They're one of those teams, too, that they got a lot of other players. Mikael Bridges is a terrific shooter. Totally underrated. Yeah, I, you know, he's one of those guys you just can't leave, leave him alone. Can't leave Waters alone from the outside. Out on the perimeter now. Another little hesitation move. Got mid post, left side, pulls up, and it hops on the rim and in. That's an NBA shot. That was good one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good defense as well, too. The kick out. And Swatters trying to tee up that three. Wasn't in the rotation early. Had to go down to the G League, work on his game. And Swatters trying to tee up that three. Wasn't in the rotation early. Had to go down to the G League, work on his game. Mark Dagnall very complimentary of just his willingness to put the work in. And what a block from behind by Jalen Horde. Okay, Continental Basketball Association. There was no real connection between that league and the actual teams themselves. Everybody kind of fed off of all those teams, but now, but going to LA, finishing up against the Clippers, you got the Lakers. How about this? LeBron James is leading the NBA in scoring. I still think that's brilliant, by the way. We've been using that, you know, playing with that for a couple of years, the playing in game. I mean, it just, you know, it gives, I mean, it just, you know, it gives a couple other teams. I will say this, hey, Memphis used it as a launching pad for this CC. And so that playing game was big. How about that launch pad shot that time by Teo Maladon? We talked about his time going down, has really stepped into his own in the last couple of weeks of basketball. Right on cue. Mateo Maladon delivers from the outside. And they've done a good job of racking up free throws tonight as well, too. And about scored the Pistons here in the fourth quarter. Jackson back to Lee. And Sar does a good job of getting back defensively. A lot of that, that continuity and familiarity, Michael, that you're talking about with the, the system being the same down there. And it benefits Jalen Horn. Nice move. Boy, what a... Slice to the rim by Teo Maladon. The last time he was on a 10-day was actually in late December out in Phoenix. He had to hop on a 4 a.m. flight to get out to Phoenix. Remember, we had those health and safety protocol. This guy here is just doing it everything, and that's what you want, and that's what's been so special about all these Thunder players this year. And he's got a, another opportunity to start the ball game tonight. And once the clock started ticking, that was the other opportunity have an opportunity to go for 29 here. Shot clock is off. And that third quarter, really the difference, because the Thunder have outscored Detroit here in the fourth quarter, 